Hi, this is Chris from Central SQL, and today we're going to go over the answers to the exercise from the order by tutorial. Now, I haven't prepared the answers, so I'm going to do them on the fly. I may make some mistakes, but I think that's good, because if I do, you'll kind of see how I figure it out. So the first question was, write a statement to select customer names, cities, and states sorted by customer cities. All right, so I'm not sure what the customer table looks like in terms of columns, so I'm going to do a um, schema on that to get the fields. And I can see I have customer ID, name, contact name, title, address, city, state. All right, so I need to do select um, contact name. Actually, we'll do um, company name. And the contacts, since it's kind of vague. Name, um, city, and state from customers, order by uh, cities. There you go. Boom. Okay, so the next is write a statement to select employee first and last names ordered by the uppercase equivalent of their last name. All right, so if you remember in our last lesson, we used the upper function to convert a field to uppercase. So let's just see what the field or the table looks like. So I'm going to do select. Um, first name, last name, from employees, order by upper, uh, let's see, last name. And that it comes back with uh, Baker, Lee Smith, White. Let me just show you what the uppercase looks like as well, um, just in case you're wondering. So there's Baker, Lee Smith, White. So kind of an unremarkable sort, but nonetheless, it shows you that you can sort on a calculation. So the next two exercises uh, deal with uh, limits. So it says, for, select the first two names that appear in a sort of employee last names. All right, I'm just going to scam onto this one and uh, use the statement again. Avoid typing. We'll get rid of this upper thing. So if I need to get the first two, what I need to do then is do a limit of two. Uh-oh, syntax error. Um, ah, I see it. So. What I had done, which is a common mistake, is I had backspaced and got rid of the upper last name expression. I forgot to get rid of the comma. So I didn't like that. So now let me hit enter. And it comes back with Baker and Lee. Now to get the last two names to appear, what I would do is order by descending, right? So order by last name descending, limit two. And there's White and Smith. So that's the answer to the questions. If you have any other questions for me, please leave a comment on this um, blog post or you can tweet me at SQL Chris. Take care.